Hello everybody, Anthony is here. I had a question about how I manage uh, layers and uh, hierarchy in 3 Code, so I wanted to make a video about it. But first I really wanted to mention that in 3D Code, 3 Code doesn't have a shift select. You cannot shift select layers, and this is a huge, huge problem. In fact, if you Google shift select, the first thread you will find is, is actually mine. I was asking for it on 3D Code forum and about a year ago and it never really got anywhere so and it doesn't seem like people are you know mentioning it and pressing about it so i actually leave the a link to this post in my uh, in the description of this video so you could go and really up this topic because i think this is a this is a super important feature that uh, every other software has probably except for zbrush Every other software has, and you know, it's just so banal, and I mean, everybody's got it. Why don't you have it? So, in absence of shift, shift select, what you have to do is you have to think about hierarchy and make everything so that it's easy to sh move your layers around. <coughs> I've showed it that if I pick something, for example, uh, this this part. I will have an empty layer that's uh, at the top. I think it's empty. It's actually another thing that I'm never really sure if the layer is empty or not. Okay, now I know that it's not empty because it's got some triangle count at the bottom. But I'm not. not it's not evident always, all the time. So what I do is uh, I sp shift split. I do the um, the split of the whole object, and that. That puts this object down in the inside the layer, inside the layer group here, and this particular um, layer becomes the root layer becomes empty, right? And this is your like class group. You can actually see by naming if you like pause the video and check check the naming of my layers, you will see there are groups. Every time where you see like some um, suffix at the beginning, like. Uh, me e3 or or r1 means that actually um, a layer some kind of particular layer. if it's just a glass group means an empty layer and then i can move all of them all of these layers around uh, don't have to you know kind of up and down this is essentially a shift select you know that you have got all the relevant parts pieces inside so it's kind of makes you to be really orderly about the way you do stuff and not you just you do not just create a whole bunch of layers and such you think about what you make you think about what you do and put them all in proper uh, get proper naming proper and uh, you know, proper hierarchy and if you're like a bit puzzled why, why do i have this strange naming like me e3 this is another feature you cannot you cannot select I cannot select uh, items by the material like you can do in Maya, for example. And I, I wanted to run this in Keyshot, and I wanted to apply a selection of materials to the to the car. And what I did in Keyshot, I just searched by suffix, like I would search, type in a me e3, and I would apply metal three to this particular you know part, like. Uh, I'll have rubber one, uh, RU is a rubber one, uh, ORI is an orange. So I would classify and categorize all these parts by the mater material inside the name. Because if you export it as an OBJ, your groups did, did not get saved. Uh, well, this is the last time I checked, a couple of, uh, a couple of minor versions before. like. Maybe if you export the FBX, I'm not sure if then you might have the groups. Uh, probably not. So you, you do the search by the material inside Keyshot and you apply the particular material that you want by the suffix. It's, and you have to obviously type in suffix by hand. So you can see I've got a lot of layers here. Every single one got a suffix there. And obviously when you have it properly hierarchically uh, Name is really easy to deal with it. Like I have my closed doors, open doors, all that stuff. I have like top of the roof, glass group. All that is really easy to navigate, especially when you're dealing with designs with like 
oh, 200 parts, 300 parts, like this. But I got. I wish I had a shift select because sometimes you break the hierarchy and you want to fix like 50 pieces together and you have to do it all one by one. Horrible. But again, I'll just start from a scratch. I have this uh, sphere here. I'll switch to split. I'll do a bunch of splits, all, all that. So I have them uh, inside this layer. So this is my root layer, but it still has got some uh, geometry inside. So I'll do a split of that. And then I hide it. Now I have uh, an empty layer, it's uh, called a ball. And I'll go and call the, all this ball part one. I don't think there are any renaming scripts as well, so this is. Well, I mean, depends on the software, not everybody. Not, uh, quite a few of them don't. Uh, anything that can rename it properly. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much what you do. You go around and you rename it properly. You have a proper hierarchy, then if you want to add some parts there, you again cu cut that, do the same operation. A bit tedious, of course, but in the end of the day, you'll have a really structured um, document, really easy to navigate through. And then if you want to move these parts around, you, know, you want to move it up, up, up the top, and you have that as a separate you know, material group or something that they wanted to create. And this is really my approach to layer management, so um, I can apply it to any object, no matter how complicated it is. I know it's pretty much regular approach. Unfortunately, this grouping doesn't really, it's not, a, you cannot export it in OBJ. Um, and in fact, I've just exported it, exported it as uh, FDX uh, to Maya, and you can see that all the empty root like management layers disappeared. My group layers disappeared, and I only have the uh, named uh, layers. So that's that's a bummer, right? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Join this topic on uh, 3D Code Forum. I'll uh, post the link, and maybe together we'll make it all. We'll get the shift select in the game in the software. Thank you.